the legendary ship's maiden voyage in an era when the seas were fraught with peril and the world was ensnared in the throes of war. A ship emerged the Hmyss Valiant, commanded by a captain with two decades of experience. The Hmyss Valiant was a majestic vessel of unprecedented power, rumored to be impenetrable to enemy shells. It was no ordinary ship. It was said to be blessed by the spirits of the sea. The captain, a seasoned mariner who had weathered the harshest of storms and outwitted the fiercest adversaries, led the ship's maiden voyage. On board were a hundred souls, passengers eager to embark on this remarkable journey across the vast, unpredictable expanse of the ocean. But what set the Miss Valiant apart from all others was the aura of invincibility that surrounded it a legend that would soon be tested. The ship's uncertain destiny as the Miss Valiant sailed majestically through the open waters. Its passengers were filled with a sense of awe and wonder. The ship's reputation preceded it, and they believed they were under the protection of the spirits of the sea. However, not a single one of them was aware of the ship's little-known damages and perfections hidden beneath its imposing exterior. The crew, well versed in the ship's supposed invincibility, remained vigilant, knowing that even legends could crumble in the face of the unpredictable sea. The captain, too, harbored a silent unease. He had not confirmed with the ship's engineers whether it had been thoroughly inspected before setting sail. The unforeseen challenge as days turned to nights and the ship ventured deeper into the boundless ocean. The passengers reveled in the luxury and comfort that the Miss Valiant offered. However, on the horizon, an unforeseen challenge awaited an enemy fleet that had remained hidden in the mists of war. The enemy ships, silent predators lurking in wait, had noticed the Miss Valiant and its air of invincibility. Soon, the sky was filled with the deafening roar of cannons and the acrid smell of gunpowder. The enemy fleet had launched a surprise attack. Panic and chaos swept through the passengers as enemy shells rained down upon the ship. The ship's legendary defense in the midst of the sudden onslaught. The crew and passengers watched in awe as the Miss Valiant lived up to its legendary reputation. Enemy shells that struck the ship seemed to be deflected by an unseen force. It was as if the very spirits of the sea had answered the call, protecting the ship and its precious cargo. The captain, emboldened by this inexplicable defense, reassured the passengers, keep calm. Everything will be under control. He marveled at the ship's seeming invulnerability and ordered the crew to maintain course. The perilous battle as the battle raged on, the enemy ships increased their ferocity. Yet, with each barrage of enemy fire, the Miss Valiant stood unyielding, as if cloaked in an impenetrable shield. The passengers, though terrified, began to believe that their ship was indeed saved by the spirits of the sea. Amidst the chaos of battle, one crew member stood out the ship's chief engineer an enigmatic figure known as Captain Grayson. Tall and gone with piercing blue eyes, he had a reputation for being both brilliant and reclusive. He was the only one who truly understood the ship's secret. Captain Grayson had designed the Miss Valiant with a groundbreaking innovation unique system of reinforced armor and advanced mechanics. He had worked tirelessly to keep this innovation a secret, fearing that it would be exploited by the enemy. Now, as the ship's cannons roared in response to the enemy's relentless assault, Captain Grayson watched from the shadows, his expression unreadable. Desperate gambit as the battle raged on, it became clear that the enemy was growing desperate. They had thrown everything they had at the Miss Valiant, but the ship remained unscathed. Frustration and fear spread among the enemy ranks. The captain of the enemy fleet, a ruthless and cunning strategist, realized that he needed to take drastic measures to overcome the legendary ship's defense. With a grim determination, he ordered his ships to close in an attempt at boarding maneuver. Hand-to-hand -hand combat was their only hope. Aboarding the beast, the enemy sailors, armed with cutlasses and muskets, swung from ropes and swarmed onto the Miss Valiant. The passengers and crew, many of whom had never seen combat, were forced into a brutal fight for their lives. Captain Grayson, finally emerging from the shadows, revealed himself as a master tactician. He coordinated the defense, leading the crew and passengers with unwavering resolve. Swords clashed, and musket shots rang out as the battle for the ship's deck raged on. Heroes sacrifice amidst the chaos, the captain of the Miss Valiant faced off against the enemy fleet's commander. It was a battle of wills and determination. As the two captains clashed swords, the outcome of the entire battle seemed to hinge on their duel. In a climactic moment, the enemy commander lunged at the Miss Valiant's captain with a wicked grin. But before his blade could strike, Captain Grayson intervened, sacrificing himself to save his captain. He took the deadly blow meant for the captain, falling to the deck with a look of satisfaction on his face. Victory and loss were Captain Grayson's sacrifice, 
Miss Valiant's crew rallied and repelled the enemy boarding party. The enemy fleet, demoralized and leaderless, retreated in disarray. The battle had been won, but victory came at a heavy cost. As the dust settled, the ship's crew mourned the loss of Captain Grayson. The passengers, too, felt a deep sense of gratitude mixed with sorrow for the enigmatic engineer who had saved them all. Bittersweet returned the Miss Valiant, damaged but victorious, turned back towards port. The ship's passengers and crew had experienced a journey they would never forget, filled with fear, courage, and sacrifice. As they sailed homeward, they knew that the legend of the ship would only grow. Back in port, the Miss Valiant received a hero's welcome. The captain, now the stuff of legends himself, addressed the gathered crowd. He spoke of the ship's mysterious engineer, Captain Grayson, who had given his life to protect them all. The people cheered, and Captain Grayson's name became forever enshrined in history. The legacy endures years past, and the legend of the Miss Valiant continued to grow. The ship underwent repairs and upgrades, and its unique system of reinforced armor and advanced mechanics was shared with the world, revolutionizing naval warfare. Captain Grayson's sacrifice served as a symbol of courage and selflessness inspiring generations of sailors. His name became synonymous with heroism, and songs and stories were composed in his honor. The Miss Valiant, now a symbol of invincibility and the indomitable human spirit, set sail on countless voyages, carrying passengers and cargo across the seas. The spirits of the sea, it seemed, still watched over her, ensuring that her legacy endured for generations to come. In an era when legends were born and heroes were made, the Miss Valiant and the enigmatic Captain Grayson stood as a testament to the power of the human spirit and the enduring allure of the open sea. Their story would be told and retold, reminding all who heard it that in the face of adversity, even the mightiest of challenges could be overcome through courage, sacrifice, and unwavering determination. And so, the legend of the ship's maiden voyage lived on, a story of triumph and tragedy, of a ship that defied the odds, and of a hero whose sacrifice would never be forgotten. New generation with each passing year, the legend of the Miss Valiant grew stronger, attracting a new generation of adventurers, sailors, and dreamers eager to experience the magic of the legendary ship for themselves. The reputation of Captain Grayson, the enigmatic engineer who had given his life to protect the ship, continued to inspire countless souls long for the adventure of the open sea. The captain of the Miss Valiant, a worthy successor to the original commander, was a seasoned mariner who had been mentored by the legendary captain himself. Under his leadership, the ship had been further upgraded and modernized, becoming an even more formidable vessel. As the ship prepared for another voyage, the crew assembled on deck, their hearts filled with a mix of excitement and reverence for the ship's story past. Passengers from all corners of the world had gathered to embark on a journey that promised not only adventure but also the opportunity to be a part of history. All of the unknown among the passengers was a young woman named Amelia Sterling, a budding historian with a deep fascination for the legends of the sea. She had spent years researching the Miss Valley and the enigmatic Captain Grayson. Amelia had always felt a calling to the sea. And when she learned of the ship's next voyage, she knew she had to be on board. Amelia's presence on the ship did not go unnoticed. She quickly struck up conversations with the crew, learning about their experiences and the ship's history. It was clear to all that she was no ordinary passenger. Her passion for the sea and the ship's lore was infectious. One evening, as the sun set over the horizon and painted the sky with hues of orange and purple, Captain Sterling as the current captain was known invited Amelia to his quarters. He had heard of her deep interest in the ship's history and the enigmatic engineer, Captain Grayson. Miss Sterling, he began, I've heard that you have a particular fascination with our ship and its past. What is it that draws you to the legend of the Miss Valiant? Amelia's eyes gleamed with excitement as she replied, Captain Sterling, it's the combination of mystery and heroism that surrounds this ship. The story of Captain Grayson's sacrifice and the ship's invincibility have captivated my imagination for years. I want to uncover the truth behind these legends and preserve them for future generations. The captain nodded thoughtfully. Well, Miss Sterling, it just so happens that I share your interest in the ship's history. I have access to records and documents that may shed more light on Captain Grayson and the secret of the ship's legendary defense. If you're willing, we could embark on a journey of discovery together. Amelia's heart raced with excitement. To explore the ship's history alongside the current captain was a dream come true. I would be honored, Captain Sterling, she said. The hidden archives over the course of the voyage, Captain Sterling and Amelia delved into the ship's archives, poring over dusty documents, journals, and logs from the time of Captain Grayson. 
The more they read, the clearer the enigmatic engineer's genius became. It was revealed that Captain Grayson had been an engineering prodigy from a young age. His designs had revolutionized naval technology, but he had always been wary of the potential for his innovations to fall into the wrong hands. That was why he had kept the ship's unique system of reinforced armor and advanced mechanics a closely guarded secret. As Amelia and Captain Sterling unearthed more information, they also discovered that Captain Grayson had left behind a series of cryptic clues, hidden within the ship's blueprints and engineering diagrams. It seemed that he had intended for someone to follow in his footsteps and uncover the truth. Dangerous revelation as the ship continued its journey across the vast expanse of the ocean. Captain Sterling and Amelia made a startling revelation. Captain Grayson's innovations had not only made the Miss Valiant nearly invulnerable, but had also given the ship the capability to harness the energy of the ocean itself. Amelia couldn't contain her excitement as she explained. Captain Sterling, it's as if Captain Grayson found a way to tap into the very essence of the sea. The ship's defense isn't just mechanical. It's intertwined with the spirits of the sea. This is why it seemed impervious to enemy fire during its maiden voyage. Captain Sterling nodded, his eyes filled with wonder. It appears that Captain Grayson had unlocked a power beyond our wildest imaginations. But with great power comes great responsibility. We must be cautious in how we use this knowledge. The unfinished quest Amelia and Captain Sterling's journey of discovery continued. But they were not alone in their pursuit of the truth. Word of their findings had spread among the crew and a group of dedicated sailors and historians joined them in their quest. Together, they deciphered Captain Grayson's cryptic clues and pieced together the hidden mechanisms that powered the ship's incredible defenses. It became clear that the ship's true potential had yet to be fully realized. Amelia was determined to honor Captain Grayson's legacy by completing his work. She believed that the secrets of the sea and the ship's incredible abilities could be harnessed for the greater good to protect not only the Miss Valiant but also the world itself. New threat just as their research was reaching its zenith. The ship encountered a new and unexpected threat. A formidable pirate fleet, led by the ruthless Captain Blackthorn, descended upon the Miss Valiant. It seemed that the legend of the ship's invincibility had reached the ears of those who sought to exploit its power. Captain Sterling knew that the ship's newfound knowledge and capabilities made it an even more enticing target. The pirates would stop at nothing to capture the Miss Valiant and its secrets. Amelia, standing on the deck alongside the crew, watched as the pirate ships closed in. She felt a surge of determination and whispered to herself, we cannot let them take this ship. Captain Grayson's legacy must be protected. The Battle of Legends, the battle that ensued was nothing short of epic. The pirate fleet, with Captain Blackthorn at the helm of their flagship, launched a relentless assault on the Miss Valiant. Cannonballs and musket fire filled the air as the two sides clashed in a fierce naval battle. The crew, armed with the knowledge of the ship's hitting capabilities, fought with a newfound determination. They unleashed the full potential of the Miss Valiant's defenses, creating a formidable barrier of energy that deflected the pirate cannons and left their ships in disarray. Captain Sterling, his eyes blazing with determination, led the charge against Captain Blackthorn's flagship. The two captains clashed swords on the deck, their battle a mirror image of the duel between Captain Grayson and the enemy commander from the ship's maiden voyage. Amelia, who had studied Captain Grayson's engineering diagrams, rushed to the ship's control room. With the help of the crew, she tapped into the ship's connection with the ocean's energy, channeling its power to create a massive whirlpool that sucked the pirate ships into its depths. The price of victory as the pirate fleet was swallowed by the raging whirlpool, the battle came to a dramatic and tumultuous end. The once formidable pirates found themselves helpless against the overwhelming forces of nature harnessed by the Miss Valiant. With their ships torn apart and their leader defeated, they were left to cling to debris and pray for salvation. Amelia emerged from the control room, her face flushed with exhilaration and exhaustion. The energy she had harnessed from the sea had taken a toll on her, but it had been worth it to save the ship and its legacy. Captain Sterling his sword still in hand, stood triumphant over Captain Blackthorn, who had been defeated and disarmed. The pirate captain's defiant grin had turned into a look of despair as he realized that his quest for power had led to his own downfall. You underestimated the spirit of this ship, Blackthorn, Captain Sterling declared, his voice echoing across the deck. The Miss Valiant is more than just a vessel, it's a guardian of the sea and a symbol of honor. You cannot conquer something that embodies the very essence of the ocean. With that, Captain Blackthorn was taken into custody, and the surviving members of his crew were brought on board the Miss Valiant. 
where they would be given a chance to reform and make amends for their crimes. New Era the battle won. The crew and passengers of the Miss Valiant celebrated their victory. It was a hard-fought triumph, one that had tested their mettle and solidified their belief in the ship's legend. Captain Sterling, Amelia, and the dedicated group of sailors and historians who had joined their quest knew that they had played a part in preserving the legacy of Captain Grayson. In the days that followed, Captain Sterling and Amelia made the decision to continue their research and development of the ship's capabilities. They believed that, with careful and responsible use, the Miss Valley could protect not only itself but also the seas from those who sought to exploit its power. As word of their mission spread, nations around the world began to take notice. Representatives from various governments and organizations expressed interest in collaborating with the Miss Valiant's crew to ensure the safety and security of the seas. Guardians of the Ocean, the crew of the Miss Valiant, now known as the Guardians of the Ocean, embarked on a new mission to protect the seas and those who sailed upon them. They patrolled known pirate routes, provided aid to ships in distress, and worked to preserve the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. Amelia's research led to the development of technology that could harness the power of the ocean in a sustainable manner, providing clean energy to coastal communities. The ship became a symbol of hope, not just for its legendary defense but also for its commitment to preserving the natural world. A spirit of adventure years passed, and the legend of the Miss Valiant continued to grow. It became a beacon of inspiration for generations to come, drawing those with a spirit of adventure and a desire to protect the oceans. Captain Sterling, though aging, remained at the helm, passing down his knowledge and wisdom to a new generation of sailors. Amelia, who had become a renowned historian and engineer in her own right, continued her quest to uncover the secrets of the sea. She believed that there was still much to learn about the ocean's depths and the untapped potential of the Miss Valiant's technology. The ship itself underwent periodic upgrades and maintenance, ensuring that it remained at the forefront of naval innovation. Its legend lived on, a testament to the indomitable human spirit and the power of unity and purpose. As Captain Sterling grew older, he knew that his time at the helm of the Miss Valiant was coming to an end. He had seen the ship through countless adventures, battles, and discoveries, and he was proud of the legacy he had helped build. It was time to pass the torch to a new captain. Amelia, with her deep knowledge of the ship's history and capabilities, was the natural choice to succeed Captain Sterling. With humility and gratitude, she accepted the responsibility, becoming the new captain of the legendary vessel. Captain Sterling, now retired but still a part of the ship's crew, looked out over the sea one last time. The sea has been my life, and the Miss Valley and my greatest love, he said to Amelia. I have no doubt that you will continue to honor its legacy and protect the oceans. Legacy lies on under Captain Amelia Sterling's leadership. The Miss Valley and embarked on a new era of exploration and protection of the oceans. The ship's unique capabilities were put to use in groundbreaking scientific research uncovering the mysteries of the deep and contributing to our understanding of marine life and ecosystems. The Guardians of the Ocean expanded their efforts, working with international organizations to combat illegal fishing, pollution, and the effects of climate change on the world's seas. The ship's reputation as a symbol of hope and progress grew stronger with each passing year. As the years turned into decades and then centuries, the legend of the Humis Valley had persisted. It became more than just a ship. It became a symbol of humanity's commitment to preserving the natural world and harnessing the power of science and innovation for the greater good. The spirits of the sea, it seemed, continued to watch over the ship, guiding it on its endless voyage through the ever-changing expanse of the ocean. And so, the story of the Miss Valiant, from its fateful maiden voyage to its role as a guardian of the ocean, lived on as a testament to the enduring spirit of adventure, discovery, and the enduring bond between humanity and the sea. The discovery decades had passed since Captain Sterling had taken command of the Miss Valiant, and under her guidance, the ship had become a symbol of environmental stewardship and scientific exploration. The ship's unique capabilities had allowed researchers to make groundbreaking discoveries about the oceans, leading to a greater understanding of marine life, ecosystems, and the effects of climate change. One fateful day, as the ship sailed through the azure waters of the South Pacific, the crew received a mysterious distress signal. It was a coded message, barely discernible through the static, coming from an uncharted and remote island. The message indicated that a group of scientists had made an astounding discovery and were in dire need of assistance. Captain Amelia Sterling immediately the ship to change the and head towards the corner to provide a distress signal. The crew, a mix 
ranks of seasoned sailors and scientists, prepared for an expedition like no other. Excitement and anticipation fill the air as they approach the unknown island. Chapter 27, the lost world of the island, and breathing them was a paradise of the most more modern civilization. Towering emerald green mountains, draped to lush vegetation, and the most steep beaches that stretch the miles. The island's existence had remained the same. was a victory for Captain Sterling, Doctor, Lawson, and the Guardians of the Ocean. It was a testament to what could be achieved when people from all corners of the globe came together to protect the environment. With the island now under international protection, the fragile ecosystem of Jurassic Haven could be preserved for generations to come. Scientists and researchers from around the world granted access to Sterling, unlocking the secrets of Earth's past and gaining valuable insights into the conservation of the a new legacy of the story of Jurassic Haven and the U.S. Valley's world has been a powerful symbol of humanity's ability to overcome challenges and make the right choices for the world. The ship itself became a symbol of hope, a reminder that even in the face of the world, the United States was a change. Captain Sterling, now that twilight moved down a road to the United States, the ship sailed away from Jurassic Haven. She had witnessed the ship's transformation. Natural treasures. Lots swelled the line of the legacy. Merely stuck. The historian turned captain. She was a son. She was a man from her life's passion. She knew that the journey was far from over, and that the world's oceans still held countless mysteries waiting to be uncovered. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm golden glow over the ocean, Captain Sterling whispered to her successor, Amelia, remember that our duty is not only to protect the sea. The ocean's legacy is intertwined with our own. It is our responsibility to ensure that the ocean is alive. So, we 
in this valley and sail on. It's a place to be able to find the world. It's a place to be able to find the sea and the commitment to protect the natural world. It's a place to be able to find the sea and the commitment to protect the natural world. It's a place to be able to find the sea and the place where few adventure. The decision to explore the abyssal abyss was not taken lightly. It was a perilous journey into the depths, where the crushing pressure and total darkness could spell doom for any vessel. However, the knowledge and technology possessed by the guardians of the ocean, coupled with the ship's legendary capabilities, gave them the confidence to undertake this extraordinary expedition. Captain Sterling had always been intrigued by the mysteries of the deep sea, and she believed that the abyssal abyss held secrets Insights into Earth's geological history, the creatures that dwell in the abyssal zone, into the abyss the preparations for the expedition were meticulous and thorough. The ship's advanced sensors and sonar equipment had been modified to withstand the crushing pressure of the ocean. Even biologists, geologists, and oceanographers had been assembled to the research of the frontier. As the abyss valley descended into the dark waters of the abyssal abyss, the crew's excitement was palpable. They were venturing into the unknown, where the rules of the surface world no longer apply. The ship's powerful floodlights illuminated the inkind blackness, revealing an alien landscape of jagged rock formations and bizarre deep-sea creatures. The biologists were astounded by the diversity of life they encountered, from bioluminescent creatures that glowed like stars to bizarre and elusive species that had adapted to the extreme conditions of the abyss. Geologists marveled at the geological formations and ancient rock layers that held clues to Earth's history. The discovery as the Abyss Valley was Enemy sent force to detected. the Abyss of this. The crew made a remarkable discovery in an underwater cave system that led to a new chamber. Within this chamber lay an astonishing find of ancient, perfectly preserved skeleton of an enormous sea creature unlike anything seen before. The skeleton was that of a colossal creature at the time, a distant relative of the prehistoric dinosaurs, but far larger in size. Its massive jaws were filled with razor sharp. The scientists were in awe of the creature's size and the implications of its discovery. Never returned it. The ship's changed. This is a game changer for our understanding of these ancient oceans. We have stumbled upon a species that was previously known to science. Creature that made the world's reading of science. The discovery ignited the fact of scientific activity. We sunk an enemy destroyer. Extensive measurements, documented the final photographs of the photos, the ancient sea monster, which they made the life of the science, became the focus of the research. The mystery deepens as the scientists continue to study the life of the science. They have covered even more astonishing details about the ancient sea creature. Radio carbon data suggested that the creature had lived approximately 150 million years ago during the Jurassic period, making it one of the largest predators of its time. Theories about Leviathan's lifestyle and mission. Some scientists believed it to be a tough prey, while others speculated it may have been to feed it. Its immense jaws to sit back into the water. Its sheer size and the presence of small and green life within its stomach contents into their complex ecological world. Captain Sterling discovered they had the potential to rewrite the history of marine life on Earth. Seen threat while the crew was engaged in their research and exploration of this An unforeseen threat began to emerge. A group of mysterious individuals, in the desire for fame, had learned of the discovery and sought to explore it. These scientists and conservationists, they were treasure hunters and collectors who saw the skeleton of Leviathan Missalis as a price. They removed the skeleton from its resting place and sell it to the highest bidder. Because 
this abyss. The battle for Leviathan the tenth stand is between me and Miss Valiant. Torpedoes, direct
Taking the lead. 